Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi everyone, Sue here at 1A Auto, and today I'm going to show you how to check your front diff fluid on a 2011 F-150 EcoBoost. You need any parts for your car? Click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. To remove your splash guard shield underneath the front of the engine, you need a 13 millimeter socket. And there's four mounting bolts and several body clips. The rear bolts here, you just need to loosen up. It's a slotted steel plate. So we'll just loosen these and use them as a guide to reinstall. Then up front here, we have two, one here on this side, driver's side, and then... There we go. You have several of these white body clips. They just spin, turn them halfway two up on the side here. They'll come right down once you've turned them halfway. Then we have some flat body pins. I use my body tool get behind it, twist them. You might have those white plastic twist pins. This looks like Someone has replaced those with these. So and pay attention to where your shield is at, because we took the two front bolts out, so I'm gonna hold that with my hand and take this last body clip out. In the back here, you have someone, the eyelets have broken on the shield so someone put plastic ties in and I cut them. I'll take this felt piece down. So the whole point of these, the slotted steel plate, I would imagine would be to slide it out, but you can't slide it out because I put the slip here. It's just there to fool us all. Okay, this shield is not light, so Make sure you have a good hand on it. And my last bolt right here. To check your front diff, you have the check plug is on the passenger side of the front differential. So 3H drive. So this one's pretty dirty. I'm gonna try to make sure I don't get any dirt in. So right before I pull that plug out, I'm just gonna scrape all that dirt around. So now you're gonna take your pinky. Get in. Beautiful. It's brand new, clean. Now we replace the plug. Make sure you tighten that up, good. You're all set. To reinstall the shield, you got the two mounting spots here. So you're gonna place the shield up, line it up. One bolt in. You can let that hang because it will grab onto the cross member. And you have two more in the front here, here, and there. So you push the shield up, line them up. These plastic clips are pretty easy. They sit up in the 
see how they sit up inside that. They've got these guides that go inside there. So once they line up, you twist them in. There's a couple of body clips. Get the side ones. Same as the white, the white plastic clips in the front. Now you get your 13 millimeter socket or wrench. Tighten up that shield. Tighten up all four bolts. They're all the same size. Tighten these down. And now we're ready to put up the, it's a cloth one in the back here. It's like a felt with a heat shield to it. And that's gonna go up, it's slotted in that spot like that. And then the end tabs are right here. All the hardware for this is missing. We, we got it with wire ties all attached. So I will reattach it with wire, wire ties. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna, oh, look at it, I'll get it. Once you get one zip tie in, then you can go to the other. Of the three. So now I'm going to take the other cable tie in the front here. One more to go after this, and then I'll just cut off the plastic. Now we'll just snug them up, get rid of all the extra. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.